If you've heard anything about JavaScript, you know that it's a single-threaded programming language, and this means it can only execute code instructions one at a time. If a specific set of instructions takes a long time to execute, we're stuck waiting, and this is really problematic for front-end web development because you are directly interfacing with users. Ever been on a web page and you press a button and suddenly you can't click on anything else? The page becomes unresponsive. And this happens because some code is blocking the main thread. It could be a heavy computation or a third-party script trying to collect usage data. And it's important that we don't block the main thread as web developers because that's the UI thread. This is where the browser handles user events, paints, resizing, and garbage collection. So when we block the main thread, all of these processes get delayed. We know that JavaScript is not just on the web browser, so there are different consequences to blocking the main thread on different platforms. For example, running JavaScript on Node.js on the server, you're not going to have that unresponsive UI because there is no UI. So what can we do about this? We have a few options. One good thing is that it's pretty difficult to write blocking code in JavaScript. JavaScript has a ton of asynchronous programming mechanisms like promises, async await, which are all non-blocking. And these all work with the JavaScript event loop, which essentially calls an asynchronous operation. And instead of waiting for that function to complete, it's able to move on to other code. And when that function does complete, it'll run the callback but this is all still on a single thread and you can't just wrap blocking code in a promise and expect it to not block the main thread. So we can take a multi-threaded approach and use something called web workers. Web workers are a browser and node API, so they're not actually part of the JavaScript language itself and they allow you to run a script on an entirely new thread. So this opens the door for concurrency and potentially parallelism, depending on how your computer implements threads. Let's look at an extremely practical example where when I click the start button, I perform this heavy computation and simulate blocking the main thread. This heavy computation is actually just me waiting for three seconds, but when we press the start button, we can see that our browser becomes unresponsive, we're unable to highlight anything, um, we can't press any buttons either, and then when the heavy computation has finished, um, we get this done blocking message. What we can do here is use web workers to offload this heavy computation to a worker thread instead of having it be handled on the main thread, which is going to block all the UI related events, and we could have a more responsive user experience. The web worker implementation I have here is essentially copied from the MDN docs. What we can do here is post messages from the main thread to the worker and vice versa. And when we click the start button, we'll notice that we're still able to highlight things, click other buttons on the web page. It's responsive but the worker thread is experiencing that blocking code. So the counter doesn't begin to start until that blocking code is run, but that's okay because it's on a worker thread and it's not affecting our user in a way that makes them think that our website is broken. Now there are a few caveats with web workers, one being that workers can't directly manipulate the DOM. And this is why we have to um, send and post messages from the main thread to the worker and vice versa. With this comes data serialization and deserialization. If you're transferring large objects between threads, there is some overhead involved with that, and you will want to dive into the docs to see how you can combat that because there are ways. I also want to mention that blocking the main thread while using a framework like React is something you especially want to be careful of. In this example, I have a React component that performs the heavy computation inside the component. And this means that on every re-render, this function will get called 
and that heavy computation will be performed. I've run into this problem in my own production apps, and what you can do to mitigate this is to try and transfer some of that work being done in the component to the server. This is so that your UI doesn't get blocked. My name's Alexa, and I hope this video made you understand why this is one of the number one rules of front-end development with JavaScript. Thanks for watching.